How's it going everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just want to come on here for a while and give my review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was July 5th, 2022. I gotta say it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Lee Moriarty versus Leon Ruffin. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Lee Moriarty went over with the flatliner. Match two, it was Bear Country, which are Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder versus Liam Gray and Adrian Alanis. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Bear Country went over because... Bear Bronson pinned Liam Gray with a double cannonball from Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder. Match three, it was AQA versus Avery Bro. That was a great match, but the ending to it, AQA went over with a flipping neck breaker. Match four, it was Josh Woods versus Barrett Brown. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Josh Woods went over with a ground top wrist lock. Yep, yep. Match four, it was Josh Woods versus Barrett Brown. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Josh Woods went over with a ground top wrist lock. That was match four, by the way. Match five, it was Sonny Kiss versus Lamar Diggs. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Sonny Kiss went over with the cross face. That was match five, by the way. Match six, it was... Fuego Del Sol versus Aaron Solo. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Fuego Del Sol went over with a roll up. Match seven, it was. Yep. 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 Excuse me. Yep. Match. Excuse me. Match seven, it was Jay Lethal. And Satnam Singh versus Darian Bangston and Gus De La Vega. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Jay Lethal and Satnam Singh went over because Satnam Singh pinned Darian Bangston with the with the falling power bomb. That was match seven, by the way. And match eight, which was the main event, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, John Silver, Alex Reynolds, and Ten, versus the Wingmen, which are Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, Ryan Nemeth, and J.D. Drake. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because Evil Uno pinned Peter Avalon with the discus clothesline from 10. That was, that was match 8 in the main event, by the way. Now, there were no promos or segments throughout this episode of AEW. Excuse me. So, there were no promos or segments throughout this episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark. So, besides the matches, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Bryce Rimsberg, Stefan Smith, and the black-haired woman that I don't know whose name is.
Okay. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Lee Moriarty versus Leon Ruffin. The black-haired woman, the black-haired woman, don't know her name, refereed the match between Bear Country versus Liam Gray and Adrian Alanis. Stefan Smith refereed the match between AQA versus Avery Bro. Mike Posey refereed the match between Josh Woods versus Barrett Brown. Stefan Smith refereed the match between Sonny Kiss versus Lamar Diggs. Mike Posey refereed the match between Fuego Del Sol versus Aaron Solo. The black haired woman, I don't know her name, refereed the match between Jay Lethal and Satnam Singh versus Darian Bankston and Gus De La Vega. And Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between the Dark Order versus the Wingmen. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now, the match card that's been announced for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite tonight that's been announced so far, it's going to be John Moxley versus... Brody King for the interim AEW title. Scorpio Sky versus Wardlow in a street fight for the AEW TNT title. Swerve and Our Glory, which are Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland versus The Butcher and the Blade. And... Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm versus Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir. Those are the matches that have been announced so far. Now, besides the matches that have been announced so far, Christian Cage and Luchasaurus will be appearing live. So, the match card that's been announced for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite tonight looks like it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was July 5th, 2022. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace. Out.